The issue of the new strain is very serious, and I don't believe uh, this country is taking it as seriously as it should, and more importantly, I don't think this country is uh, taking the action that it should take, okay? So let's just talk facts first. Fact, it is in the UK and it is more dangerous. Boris Johnson says it's 70% more transmittable. Boris Johnson closed uh, parts of the UK, other European countries, uh, have banned travel from the UK, uh, but it is more dangerous. How much more dangerous? We don't know. Uh, we don't know if it's more deadly. Uh, we don't know if the vaccine works on it or not. We think the vaccine works on it. That's our quote unquote working assumption. But it is real and it is dangerous. It is traveling around the world as we speak, right? It's on planes. Uh, and it is uh, transmitting, and other people are getting on planes, and it's the holiday season, and it is traveling around the world. That is a fact. It's not a personal opinion. 120 countries now require testing before people leave the UK or ban people from the UK. That is not a personal opinion. That is a fact. Uh, number four, France went so far as to stopping truck traffic from the UK caused massive uh, backups by stopping the traffic coming into France. That's how seriously France took it. Uh, and then you have federal officials in this country who say, well, it may be here already, okay? Those are five inarguable facts. When you hear those facts, you have to say to yourself, what, what happened and what are we doing and why are we not doing what 120 other countries that are far less sophisticated, that paid far less of a price for COVID, that didn't have the experience that we had, why aren't we saying test the travelers in the UK before they get on a plane. Why aren't we saying test travelers, period, before they get on a plane and come to the United States? I mean, why wouldn't you do that? This is what happened in the spring. It is deja vu. It is the same mistake the federal government made that killed thousands of people and cost billions of dollars.